the first chapter of a movie, you fall in love with the characters and working with the cast and Alec Baldwin's so fun. But then you also think like, well, how can we make the movie better? What did we learn from the first, you know? And, and um, you know, the first movie is very boy centric. And we thought, wow, this is a great opportunity to have a strong female voice. And so we started developing the baby Tina character that would bring the brothers back together for one last mission, turn them back into kids again so they, they'd have to reconcile their differences as adults, which was a fun idea to play with. But the character really kind of uh, blossomed when we brought Amy Sedaris in to, to voice uh, baby Tina because we wanted the opposite of Boss Baby. We wanted someone who kind of reflected the voice of the new generation, who embrace uh, family over business um, or work, um, have more of a positive idea, uh, you know, a set of ideals and embrace teamwork. And so Amy kind of invented this character along the way that just kind of represented Gen Z, I guess it would be. But it was she was a fun foil against Boss Baby. Because our timeline is different from the series, it's 25 years later, it just brings in a whole new set of characters, a whole new set of fun. Jeff Goldblum is fantastic as a villain. I don't want to talk about his character too much because I don't want to spoil anything. And James Morrison playing now Tim as an adult. Um, it's just, it's almost like a, having a different timeline for the movie just brings in a whole new, um, you know, set a new, a whole new opportunity to uh, bring in new characters, new worlds, new action sequences. And, you know, we made this movie for the big screen, obviously, and we wanted to be there for, for kids and parents to get out of the house and go laugh together. But, you know, it's also available on Peacock which is great for us because when we make these movies, we want it to be seen by the widest group of people we can possibly show it to. Family drama lasts a lifetime. And, you know, uh, as with my brother and sister and I, you know, sometimes, you know, we grew up, pursued our own interests, and we kind of grew apart. And after a while, sometimes you stop picking up the phone and, and, and calling one another because you're too busy. And we really wanted this movie, uh, when people got out of it, not only to laugh, but to actually maybe call up their brother, sister, mother, grandmother, or, and give them a call and just say, hi, or I'm sorry, or it's, uh, I love you, or, you know. And so that's what, that's what our ultimate goal was in making this film. Jeff Goldblum is so smart, you know, and um, his character is very smart as well, but he'd be doing trivia between lines, asking us trivia questions <laughs> just to get into his character, and he's an encyclopedia of knowledge, and he's it, really fun that way. And, um, you know, it's interesting with these actors, um, and this is out of Carol Burnett's book. She had a quote in it that was really great. It's like, um, com uh, comedians say funny things, comic actors say things funny. And, uh, and uh, which is interesting to me because I think our actors do both at the same time. Every one of them. I remember going to the theater and watching uh, animated movies and it felt like you were stepping into a world of art. And watching Bugs Bunny, it, it, a lot of the humor was in the physicality of it. And I think what makes Boss Baby um, unique, hopefully, is that, um, you know, we can be kind of zany and silly and kind of slapsticky and fun, but we can also have sophisticated acting that our, our actors bring to it that warm your heart. And, um, you know, because there is a, a, a nice message in this movie, you know, for families saying, you know, you, there's always, you can always have a second chance with family, even if you grow up and grow apart, you know, and to take that opportunity to reconnect with a, a lost relative or that sort of thing, you know. Um, what's great is having like Alec Baldwin who studied under Lee Strasberg for acting and also has great comedy chops, you know, he, he's the perfect example as well as Amy Sedaris is having that sincerity as well as comedic uh, humor in the film as well, you know.